Okay, right now we have a sibling is used to stop a 50 kilograms package which is moved downward on an inclined surface by 20 degrees. The sibling has a constant K, 30 kilonewtons per meter, and is held by cables, two cables. Uh, so it is initially initially compressed by 50 millimeters. So this is the initial force, the initial energy of the uh, sibling. Knowing that the velocity of this package is 2 meters at this point, uh, when the distance is 8 meters from the sibling and neglect the friction between the surface, determine the maximum additional deformation of the sibling to bring the package to the rest. Okay, so we have a package that moves from this position to this position by 8 meters and then this is 8 meters and then it's going to push the sibling by distance of x we don't know how much is that x from here to here this is the 8 and because of the acceleration is going to push it by distance about x so we need to calculate this x so i'm going to set the data on here this is positive and downward is negative and we have 8 is going to be analyzed in two components. This one, the vertical component, is positive and negative, and the horizontal component. X also has two components, negative one, the vertical one, horizontal one. This is H2, uh, which is X sine theta, and the horizontal one is X cosine theta. Okay, so we have the diagram here, and this is the final distance of the uh, of uh, the uh, the block when it moves from here to moves from here to here, which is s two equals eight plus d x. Okay, <clears throat> having this, <clears throat> so we're gonna use the principle of the conservation of energy. We have the kinetic plus potential energy of point one equals the kinetic and energy and the potential energy of point two between point one and point two we're gonna apply the conservation of energy principle so let's get to position one and see what we have in position one we have kinetic energy since we have uh there is acceler uh, there is a uh uh, the velocity is 2 meters per second is given. So from here we can calculate the kinetic, uh, kin kinetic uh, energy. And then calculate the potential energy, which is the consists of the gravitational plus the elastic at point 1. Gravitational energy is mgh1. And from here we have... The M is 50. Times uh, G, which is the gravitational acceleration, times 8 sine theta, which is 20. Okay. Um, so, uh, this is H1, okay, so this is H1, okay, so this is the cosine and this is the sine component of the 8 meters, so from here we can have gravitational energy equal 1,3, 42.09 joules. The same thing at the position one, we calculate the separating energy, <coughs> which is half KS1, <coughs> and the S1 here is uh, equals to 0.5 here because we already it's, it's already compressed by 50 millimeters.
This one 30 times 10 to the because it is kilonewton here, the K converted to newton times 0 0.05 square and this will give us 37.5 joules and the potential energy will equals the summation of these <coughs> two components and that equals to Angels. Okay, we go to position two of this position here. Um, <clears throat> what is the kinetic energy at this position? The kinetic energy is half of V2, and uh, we know as is stated here to bring the sibling to the rest. The sibling to bring the package to the rest, that means the velocity here equals zero. So the kinetic energy equals zero. Potential energy has two components, as you know. Gravitational one is MGH2, and the H2 here is the vertical component of the X. This is the vertical component, but this is in a negative since it is underneath the data. Okay? <clears throat> so from here, we can calculate the uh, VG2 equal 167.76x. And the elastic of the uh, sibling at position 2 equal half KS2. Thirty times ten to three to make in newtons times the uh, the displacement of the of the sibling at position two consists of the already has fifty millimeters plus x square, right? This one here is already has. This is wrong. This is not the S2. The S2 is already, the sibling is compressed by 50 millimeters. And after the block to hit it, there is X displacement. So this is the total displacement as to our position two. Okay. <clears throat> I hope I did not confuse you guys. So from here we have the velocity, uh, the elastic energy equals thirty seven point five plus one five zero 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 x square by plugging everything in equation two, equation one, sorry. We will get solving for x before that just for the clarity say for the sake of the clarity let me plug in everything here sorry what is this so 100 plus 1342.09 these are the components at position one kinetic plus potential and here minus one six seven point six one x plus thirty seven point five plus a hundred fifty x plus a hundred At uh, 15,000, sorry, here, x square, 1500x here, not 100. Uh, solving for x, we 
we get x equals to 0.268822 meters. And also we have the second root of the x Um, this one is actually uh, the second root of the x does not represent the physical situation since the uh, uh, the positive s is measured downward here for the x is measured downward. So this is the negative one does not have any physical meaning. Um, however, uh, it means like it would have, it means that the sibling would have to be extended by amount of uh, 0.357 meters to stop the block, uh, to stop the, the block at the position two. So this is would be like, if we extend the sibling by this, Displacement. The the exerted force of the sibling, the the force that the sibling will generate, it'll be enough to stop the block. So this is not the doesn't have any physical meaning. So this is, is neglected. Thank you.